Welcome to Comfort Zone. My name is Comfort and today I'm going to use my air fryer and I'm going to show you how to make meatballs my way, okay? So over the years I've come up with some things I like and don't like and right now I think I have reached a point where I like my meatballs prepared this particular way. So now I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm using for my meatballs, all right? So I have the ground beef and yellow onion. And I also have garlic, hot pepper, I have Maggie Q, and I have eggs and ginger, all right? And um, I also use um, cornflakes, and I have light brown sugar, I have uh, black pepper, turmeric, and salt. So basically, this is the only ingredients I'll be using. Let me show you exactly how I'm going to put all this together. All right, so before I even start everything or anything at all with my ground beef um, meatballs, I first of all will cut my onions. Well, I personally like using different types of onions. It doesn't really matter, but for me, I've been doing it for so long. And you have a choice to use either just the yellow onions or just the red onions or just the white onions. Um, there's no particular reason. Um, I like it that way. So I'm not a chef, just a mom. Cook every day, and I wanted to share my what my way of making these balls. Okay, see me crying? Yeah, the onions is real. So oh, the onions is getting to me. There are different techniques people use not to cry. Um. Oh, lordy. Yes, I am crying. I have a frying pan in it here. Oh, forgive me. Oh, yeah. So, I have a frying pan here only because when I cut up my onions, um, usually I'll dice it. And when I finish dicing my onions, I always cook it first. I turn it, um, make it a little bit um, soft and then I put it aside and then I'll mix it in with my ground beef. So let me do that. The white onion. Ooh wee. Your girl is frying onion tears. It is no joke. Whatever technique you can you have, please share it down below. How to not fry with onions because this girl obviously don't know how to get around to it. Oh, maybe I should have done myself a research before this video. How not to cry. <laughs> I am crying. Alrighty, so woo wee. I can't even wipe my eyes if I want to. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> Do not <laughs> get yourself so close to onions. Woo! Goodness. This is for real, for real. Ah. Ah. Whatever. Whew. This is real kitchen. All right. So I put all this together and then I will go to the, I'll put this in the, on, on the stove. So I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to go cook this onions a little bit and I'll bring it back. And I'm going to clean my face, wash my hands, for real. So I'm gonna add a little oil at this time, okay? Just so that it doesn't um, it doesn't stick so much to the pan. Just a little, because the ground beef itself has enough of, it, of the oil, okay? So it's almost getting there, that translucent, you know, like that is what we're looking for. So, for all of them. So now that the onions is being sauteed um, over the stove, 
I'm gonna let that sit for a while and I'm gonna come and finish up so the next thing I will do is I will also cut my peppers I'll use my hot pepper those onions got to me so please comment below how this girl can prevent all of that you know because I showed you research that how to not cry with onions <laughs> but lesson learned so I have the peppers over here and I'm going to use my ginger as well because I have a lot of ground beef to deal with I'm going to use about half of this all right now with the ginger I will not um I will not just have it, I'm not gonna cut it, I'm gonna have it grated, okay? You don't want to be chewing on ginger in your uh, meatballs. You don't want that. This is how I go about that. I have a little hand grater here, and what I'll do is I will just grate it right here onto my cutting board. So now we have the ginger. Then the next thing we're gonna have to do is the um, garlic. So at this time, I'm gonna add the pepper that I cut up, and then the um, the ginger as well. All right. So now I'm adding the pepper and the ginger I just sliced. I'm gonna leave that to simmer a little bit more as well. I have a guest in the kitchen with me. That's my babies watching because they can't wait to eat. So if you hear them. All right, so we're gonna leave this and we're gonna go back to the table and finish up the other stuff that needs to get done. If I forget, there's one more thing I need to do, is my garlic. Usually, with that kind of amount of meat, I will likely use about five. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying to get that. Maybe five or six, all right? With this, I do the same thing I did with the ginger. So here we go. easier way to get this done but um, my way so whatever way works for you by all means do all right and this is what I get and after this together I am going to put this with the onions okay so follow me to that end So now the onions is definitely turning the way that it should, um, translucent, and um, we're gonna let this just simmer itself for a while, okay? All right, a little bit more. All right, so. Now that the onions, the garlic, the ginger, the pepper is on the stove and is simmering, we are going to work on the seasoning for the ground beef, okay? So now this is the part that you can put a twist on it, it's any way that makes it work. So we're gonna take the corn, the corn flakes. All right, so I put the corn flakes in um, a Ziploc bag
So we have that. Now, all right, so now I'm gonna use turmeric. I love turmeric. Um, you can have the fresh one, but I didn't have a fresh one at this time, so it's just a powder, okay? So I will take um, half teaspoon of it. And a little bit more than half, but not for another one, because I really love turmeric, okay? So we do that. And then we have salt. Not too much salt, so I will take, um, and we are going to do about one teaspoon of salt. I'm not too fan of salt, okay? So you can keep that or you can take that away. And then we're gonna use Maggie Cube, all right? I love, love, love Maggie Q. The reason why I didn't use a lot of salt because Maggie Q have salt in them because it is a season in the cube form. So for that size of meat, <clears throat> I will use about Personally, I use about eight cubes in my, um, for that amount of meat. Sometimes it's not even really hard to really um, brush, so I will take um, my little Grater. So now I will use my um, hand grater and I will grate the cube, okay? So I'm going to take the ground beef and I'm going to put the ground beef in here, all right? So make sure you rinse your hands really well. You are so done with all the ingredients at this time except um, the egg right now. So I'm going to crack one egg. I'm going to crack one egg right on top of it right and then now you take your mince um, sauteed minced, <laughs> sauteed um, onions garlic ginger and hot pepper all right put that right in there so now you have a choice to use your hand or you use a wooden spoon like I'm using right now. I'm only choosing this option for now because I don't want to get it, my hands in it right, right away. But I will get my hands into this meat. Trust, I will. Alright, so I've cleaned my hands again. And I'm taking some things out of here. So now, again, I said I was mixing. That's what I left last time, all right? Mixing, mixing, mixing. So now that I've mixed, it's time to get our hands dirty. And I'm gonna mix again one more time, all right? With my hands. So I like to incorporate it this way, from the bottom in. So I will mix it till I feel that all the, um, oopsie, that I feel like it's, again, this is comfort's way. If you have another way of doing this and you don't want to get your hands all gooey and neat inside of it, by all means, use whatever method works for you. So, I've got my stuff here. All right, <clears throat> so here we go. Let's make some meatballs. So, I like my meatballs really nice and big. So, this is how I go about it.
दो Get it? Get comfortable. Welcome to Comfort Zone. My name is Comfort. <laughs> oh gosh, that was funny. I think mean, I found it funny. All right. And the reason why you want to really mix your ingredients um, with the ground beef really well is you don't want to have, you know one meatball really really salty or um, with full of onions in one or anything you just want it nice and even all over you want all your meatballs to just have it you know, equal of everything all right so I, would, I had to squeeze a little bit more meatballs in that so we have 15 on that tray and we're about to have another 15 on this tray. We still got more meatballs to roll up, right? All right, so we done. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna set up the air fryer and we're gonna get this done. Yeah. All right, so my hands is all nice and clean. Um, we're going to use the air fryer. I'm going to, the air fryer is already on, it's plugged in. Heat it the, for two minutes and now I'm going to put, oh, I can feel the heat out of this. Now I'm gonna put my um, meatballs inside, all right? So I don't want to really, I don't know if this will hold it while I put it in, but yeah, it works. So let's get this going. Let's see how many I can fit in this right now, this moment. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to try and bring the camera closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I hope you can see this. How am I arranging it in here? And hopefully, I can get much of it in here. Alright, so I can pretty much fit about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have a 14 in there, if you can see it. So let's go and we are gonna do, put it in the, all right. So temperature wise, we're gonna set it up again at 400 and I'm gonna put it in for about 20 minutes, okay? Let's see. After 20 minutes, we will check it out again and then try to do this next one. So I went and started taking care of baby Samuel and I was smelling something burning. So I had put this for 20 minutes. That's way too much time. I should have just done 10 minutes. So I took it out. I had six minutes left. I had to like open it up because I was smelling something burning. So let me show you what happened at 16 no about 14 minutes of um, it being in there so I suggest this next round is going to go only for 10 10 minutes so it almost burned if I had let it stay any further than that so lesson learned no meatballs for 20 minutes that is a no-no all right so I'm going to take that out because this, this, this was going to be a burnt meatball if I had left it for 20 minutes. Alright. I love seeing my onions. I love, love, love seeing my onions in my uh, meatballs. Alright. Okay. So, this is what we get with 
14 minutes in the air fryer. So we're not gonna do this for 14 minutes. No, no, no. We're gonna do this for 10 and hopefully that will be not so burnt. Okay, let's try this. And let's set it up. I'm no chef, just a mom that wanna cook every day for her kids and family. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not gonna lie, but we eat it anyway. <laughs> we eat it anyway. So let's see how this comes out, all right? And this is my first time using air fryer because I usually just put it in, um, in a tray and put it in the oven, okay? Because if we have about four left, uh, so we have to go on like a third round. So let's go. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen meatballs in here. Okay, now we are gonna put it again for 400 and we're gonna keep it at 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. We did it for 10 minutes this time. Let's see how the meatball turns. Hopefully it's not as burnt as that. So, ah, so great. 10 minutes is a really good timing for, for the meatball. So, but trust me, no matter how it looks, meatballs ain't supposed to look pretty. So, it just got to taste good, if you ask me. But I'm curious to see how much oil came out of this. So, I am going to... Take a look at that. Let's put these meatballs this way. And I'm gonna put this here. It's just me being very curious to find out um, how much oil we have. Now, this is hot. So I got myself a cloth. Be safe, because this day, ain't no joke, it's hot, okay? I don't think it's supposed to be this way, but I just want to see how much oil we got and all that junk in there. My goodness. I guess that's what makes um, the air fryer so good. All right, so we're gonna put this back in here. And let's do the last four. Okay. And while we wait for the last four to be done, um, I'll probably end this video before it's actually finished. So, right. so again, we're gonna turn it on. Oh no, we're gonna put it for 400 and we're gonna take it down to 10 minutes and let it do its thing. Um, look at how much oil, oh my goodness, came out of this meat balls. You could actually cook with this oil. I, I will because the meat was seasoned and the season isn't that oil. So I will not throw it away. I'll put it in a jar and keep it. And when I'm making the um, the meatball stew, I will, I will use that oil to make the meatball stew. Some people will not, but I like it because that oil is already seasoned. And yeah, 